Welcome to DIY RV and Home Campers Life. My name's Greg. I'm in the process of doing a major upgrade to our RV electrical system. And so I needed to uh, crimp some larger gauge wire. So I picked up a uh, crimper off of eBay and it came with some wire cutters too. So I want to do a quick review on it. I've had a chance to make a few connections with it. Um, and let you know what I think about this uh, unit. So, this is what they call the IWISS HX50BI battery cable lug crimper. And it is capable of crimping lugs on wires from 8 gauge all the way up to 1 aught. So the way these operate is, is there is two dies on the head of this unit that are affixed with a center pin that is spring-loaded. To change the size of uh, wire that you plan on crimping, you just depress the center pin and rotate the die until the number wire gauge size that you're looking at is on the top. So if I'm going to do my four gauge wire, I would rotate the die until I see four on the top, and again I would do it on the other one until I saw the four on the top, release, and they self-lock in place. Now it is set up, so when I did buy the crimpers, it did come with a set of wire cutters. Now, these are the iCrimp LK60A wire cutters, and so far they've seemed to cut pretty good. Um, they're actually able to uh, cut the sheathing so I can strip the wire as needed without any damage. But one thing I did notice is that I am starting to get some chip out. Now I've already, I've only used these probably about 15 cuts and I've seen a couple little tiny chips in it. So what it appears to is that the uh, cutting edges are too hard because it's chip out versus deformation on the blade. So for longevity, I don't think these are going to last, uh, but uh, you never know. And possibly, if you're gonna if you're gonna continue using something, you might want to get a better pair. Uh, as far as the crimper, so far, it uh, it seemed to work all right. I'll show you uh, the crimps. I've got a couple different lugs I'm gonna be doing. I've got a couple four gauges that I'm gonna go ahead and crimp on, and then I've got two different style lugs in the one aught. So here what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip and crimp a couple different size wires. I've got four gauge that I'm doing right here. Do two of those up and then I'll show you in the end. Then after that I've got a one aught cable here and I've got two different style lug nuts. Both of them, or excuse me, lugs that are both copper lugs. One's just uh, tin coated the other one's just a standard lug. Alright, so here is my first four gauge. And you can see that there is a pinch on either side. That's why I rotated it 180. Um, but that is solid. It is not going anywhere. The rest of the uh, crimp looks excellent. Uh, so that right there, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan of. But with shrink tube over it, everything like that. It's going to be good, and that thing is not going to go anywhere. Let me grab the other one. And again, it did the same. Now, there could be some different style lugs out there that this is going to work better with. Um, on to the one aught. I'll show you on the just the copper as I wrote, come out and rotate it around just a little bit looks really really good there is one little tiny spot that kind of did start getting pinched now I have heard people say you know do partial crimp and then rotate then crimp again I tried that and I didn't like the way it came out so um, I just went with that and that seemed like I said seems to be holding pretty good now here is that final one um, and this is that uh, tin coated one more designed for uh, electrical uh, AC electrical work in houses, residential, so it's got less strand wire. And as you can see, I'm going to rotate it around. It appears 
that it liked this. Uh, there was really no pinching, a nice crimp, and there is actually, see if I can show you, uh, see if that'll come in right there. That is actually says one knot right there. So it actually stamps the gauge size into the wire. And even on this, it's not that noticeable, but it does definitely have a four. Let's see. Four on it. You can't see it, but I can. So, what do I think about these? I think for small projects, for one-off projects, uh, something that you're just going to need every now and then for about 35 bucks for the pair, it's not a bad deal. Um, you know, you've got multiple sizes dies that are permanently affixed, so you're not going to lose them. It did a good job of crimping the lug on. I'm not worried about it falling off. Either one that I did. And again, dependent on the style of lug and quality of lug too. Um, quality as in how thick these are. Um, you can get some that are paper thin and then some that are extremely thick. You're going to have different uh, performances with this crimper. You can see that this one it pinched and it had little tiny ears on it, but yet this one right here, there was really nothing there. I mean, it crimped down really nice. So that that all plays a factor into how well the crimper works as far as the cutters i would not buy this kit just because of these cutters the cutting edge is too hard and i've already seen some chipping in my cutter edge and i've only probably used it now 20 times um less than that actually uh most of it is just trimming the sheath back so I can put the lugs on. So I would not buy it just for this. And if you do plan on doing uh, a bit of work and you do get these, plan on getting a different set of these. So I do have a link in the description below to where you can get these on Amazon along with everything else in my project on our RV electrical system upgrade. Hope you guys got something out of the video. If you did, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Till the next video, you have a great day and Happy New Year. We all need it.